Five years after the CDC initiated a crackdown on opioid pain medications, experts have concluded the policy has really been a miserable failure. Overdose deaths have gone up, not down. And now courts are starting to recognize the arguments used to justify the crackdown are really largely bogus. The I team's George Knapp has the latest. So these numbers, they just push these false numbers, and, and now you have courts of law calling them out. Las Vegas physician Dan Laird has a unique vantage point from which to evaluate the great opioid crackdown. He's not only a pain management doctor, but is also an attorney who's represented patients who suffered after being denied legal medications. Of the 50 million Americans plagued by chronic pain, about 20 million depend on prescription opioids to try and lead somewhat normal lives. Since 2016, those millions have suffered immensely because of a war on legal pain meds. A chronic pain patient Patients are uh, basically in a fight for their lives. Uh, they've been under attack for several years now with this uh, anti opioid sentiment and sort of the overreaction to the opioid crisis. Laird says the campaign against opioids is largely about money. More than 1,500 civil lawsuits have been filed against drug companies by state and local governments, including in Nevada, as officials and trial lawyers eye multi billion dollar settlements. But the lawsuits, most of which accuse Big Pharma of being a public nuisance for causing the opioid epidemic, are starting to fall apart. In California this month, a lower court tossed out a huge lawsuit with a scathing opinion that found the underlying facts don't support the allegation that 25 percent of opioid patients get addicted. And in Oklahoma, the state Supreme Court reached a similar conclusion and held the benefits of opioid meds far outweigh the risks. But the litigation narrative, the, the narrative that the, the trial lawyers want to push is that it's prescribed opioids that are causing all of these deaths. But prescription drugs are not the cause of a spike in overdose deaths. 90,000 ODs were recorded in 2020, a huge increase. But 87% of those were caused by illegal street drugs, notably fentanyl and heroin, not prescription medication. Cutting down on prescriptions hasn't worked because legal pain patients are not the ones overdosing. Studies show less than 1% of them become addicted, not 25% as alleged in the lawsuits. Millions of patients who followed the rules and their doctors have been cut off altogether or had their dosages slashed. Suicides among those patients jumped 470 percent. Many of them veterans in pain who were cut off by the VA. Patients are starting to fight back by suing doctors and hospitals who deny legitimate medications. Also coming under scrutiny are the very same anti-opioid crusaders who crafted the CDC's opioid crackdown in 2016. Several are now working as expert witnesses in the lawsuits against Big Pharma. One person, Andrew Kolodny, who is a psychiatrist with no formal postgraduate training in pain management, uh, is an expert witness for, uh, in the Oklahoma case, against Johnson & Johnson Pharmaceuticals. His expert witness fee for that case uh, reportedly is $500,000. So it's pretty good work if you can get it. George Knapp, 8 News Now. Now, in the developments, the U.S. Supreme Court agreed a few days ago to hear arguments related to the prosecution of doctors who have been found guilty of criminal charges for prescribing legal medications.